Here is your 2024 gold price prediction, the realistic forecast, brought to you by Ainsley Bullion and the gold and silver standard. My name is Joe. Use the time codes below to go to your favorite part right away. A couple of things before we start. Of course, anything I say here is not financial advice, uh, not necessarily advice or the opinion of Ainsley Bullion and the Ainsley Group. You also need to know that we're using the US dollar. So if you're somewhere else in the world with your own foreign currency, you have to bear in mind that your foreign currency floats against the US dollar. So just because if gold goes up, doesn't necessarily mean it's going up in your foreign currency and similarly in the opposite direction. Most of the time it's going to track with gold a little bit uh, with the US price, I should say, but you just do have to bear that in mind as well. So what you're going to get here is two realistic price targets moving higher and two realistic price targets moving lower. We're not going to say it's definitely going in the upwards or downwards direction for 2024. We're giving you the what if scenarios. So first we are going to check back on our 2023 gold price prediction, the realistic forecast video. It's always good to see where we've come from and see how our prediction from last year fared. So here is the video from last year, 2023's gold price prediction. I did have a horizontal line. This is my first uh, prediction right here. That was at 1,960. I gave that a more than 50% chance. We're at $1,850, $60 roughly in US dollar terms at the start of last year, roughly. And I did say 1960, a very obvious one uh, to see was a previous resistance level. So I put that one in first. So that was more than a 50% chance that we would at least hit 1,960. And here was my second realistic price target forecast. So I think if every man and his dog is trying to get gold in 2023 this year, it could potentially, I'll give it a 50-50% chance that it could push the price up to this trend line again. That's a that's only a 15% gain for the year. You can certainly see other green candle years which have had way more uh, than that. So I think that's the next realistic and I'll give it a 50% chance of happening at the top of this trend line. So that's what I said at the top of that trend line and let's see how we fared. Here we are back at the live chart. Let's pop on the indicators and see where we topped out at for 2023. And of course, as you can probably predict right there, it did happen. You see, you did see where the price went to. We had a topping out on the yearly time frame. I'll go back to the yearly time frame right here. Each candle here is one year. We topped out at 2,100, at least on this index, 2,146 dollars. If we pop that back onto the monthly time frame, that's this spike here in December just gone and you can see it was at just a little tiny spike above but basically at the top of this trend line meeting this uptrend line right here so that second uh, target that I had of meeting this uptrend line was pretty much on the money uh, so a little bit of a spike above give or take about $15 roughly so I think, again, we're not soothsayers and all this. We're not magical or anything like that. It's, a, it's pretty easy stuff. What you know, a bit of simple technical analysis. So I think many people would have had that uh, in the back of their mind as a price target meeting this uptrend line right there. It depended on when it hit. So it was roughly around that. I think in the video I said roughly 2,120 to 2,130 and just a little bit of a spike above. So definitely on point for last year at least for one of the realistic price forecasts for moving higher. So on to our price forecasts for 2024. I'm going to start with the higher ones. That's the ones you probably want to hear more about, but then I will do the lower ones. But I'm going to start with the higher ones because I'm going to use the Fibonacci from the higher ones to uh, assess the lower targets as well. Now here is my first realistic uh, price target moving higher if we do move higher for this year. So in order to move higher, of course, we need to break above this trend uptrend line right here. And this goes back all the way to 2011 through the point here of the high in August of 2020. And again, the new all time high just last month. And if we do make new all time highs, it means we're going to break this uptrend line and we're going to come up somewhere up around a certain area into price discovery before I think we will definitely have a retest of this uptrend line at some point. Once you break out of a significant trend line, you tend to come and um, 
revisit it at some point. Where could the first target be? Here's my first target. I'm going to take a short-term Fibonacci level. I'm actually going to take it from here and here. This is the first realistic one and I would say it's more than a 50% chance that we at least bare minimum if we do break all-time highs we at least come up to this all-time high and you can see right here it's the 1.618 Fibonacci level between this recent high of 2080 and this recent low of $1,815 roughly and you can see it's right here at 2,248 I think you can comfortably call that 2,250 US dollars so I'm giving that a more than 50% chance if we do make new all-time highs this year. Again, we're not saying yes or no either way. If we do, it's bare minimum, in my opinion, coming up to this level here of 2250. So that's my first realistic price target for 2024, moving higher that is. So I'm gonna pop a horizontal line in right there. And so you can see that, and at the end of the video as well, you could pause this video, take a screenshot if you want, and keep that for the whole year, and see how we tracked for the rest of the year. So. Again, my first realist, realistic price target for 2024, if we are making new all-time highs, 2250. Definitely, definitely going to that area, way more than a 50% chance uh, that we do, again, if we break new all-time highs. That's my first one and my next one, and I think this is one that many people have been talking about. Uh, I'll get rid of that for, no, I will keep that in, actually. I will keep that in for the moment. No, actually. My apologies, I will get rid of that. So here we go, the next and final realistic price target, and I say realistic ones, uh, based on just the world sort of going on as it normally does. Let's say gold has a really good pop uh, this year and has a kind of a normal uh, green kind of year. So for example, here's the yearly time frame once again. You can see here that if we have a good green year, you can easily see moves of over 20% uh, or more. So for example, to give you an idea, this move last year from the low of last year to the high of last year, is around about a 17 to 18% move, okay? Pretty normal. If you go back and take a look at other ones, this one here in 2020, well, that was a 40% move. You've got this move here in 2019, that was a roughly 20% move. So, you know, a kind of a 15 to 40% move on a green year, well within um, acceptable levels as well. I mean, you've gone as far as, let's go back to 1979, for example, and I'm not saying this is happening this year at all, but I'm just giving you an example where you had a 145% move. So again, a 15 to 40% move, 15 to 20%, 30% move in a year uh, of upwards price action, definitely easily done. So let's take a look again at Fibonacci, and I'm going to take it from a slightly longer time frame. I'm going to take it from the 2011 to the 2015 price levels. So let's take a look at that and that. And so you have right here, the first target here, have you have a look at that is the 1.618. I really like the 1.618 as a level of major resistance uh, from a all a long-term high and low range. So that is currently at 2470 dollars. Okay, that's the first little target I have there, but I also want to see if there are other levels of confluence as well. If I use some other Fibonacci, do I see levels which sort of come close to each other? So I'm going, I'm using that one here, 2011 to 2015, and I'm also going to do a quick one, Fibonacci from this sort of more recent high, or that that's in September of 2020, and this sort of interim low of October of 2022, and that's at your 1615 level. We're going to see if there are any rough sort of confluences of prices right there. So if I'll punch in, it's getting lots of lines here. Hopefully you can see it. And I would recommend that you watch this maybe on a desktop if you can, or at least put it on full screen uh, on your phone. But you can see right here, the 1.618 from this high, and this low right there is at 2350, 2350 US dollars. That's close enough. It's around about a $120 range uh, between 
this level and this level here of 2470. So, and many, many people have been talking about, if you've been watching other people do analyses, a lot of people have been talking about the $2,400 level for gold. Interestingly, they haven't been saying $2,500. Most people I've been listening to saying around about that $2,400 level. And I think that makes sense for me too. So I'm going to put a range instead of a horizontal line. So my first target, $2,250 roughly. My second and final realistic price target, for gold in the upwards direction, I'm going to have as a range. It's going to be a $120 range, roughly. I'm going to put it between here and here. I'll do that with the rectangular box right there. And I might keep this in for the rest of the year, this box right here, so you see how it tracks. So right here between, I'm going to call it between 2350 and 2470. So I'm going to keep that in that range right there. So that is my next and final realistic price target for 2024. Bear in mind, we're only talking about 2024. You can actually pause this and use these Fibonacci levels for uh, extra price targets in coming years. If you think we're in a massive bull market, where could we find major areas of resistance? You could use these two Fibonacci's. I would probably be more inclined to use this larger one here from the 2011 to 2015. Uh, but for now, most realistically for 2024 in a 12-month period, around about here is my, again, I'll call that a 50%. So like I did with 2023, having this as the resistance level, the 50% chance, I'll call a 50% chance roughly of between 2,350 and 2,470 US dollars for where we may top out at for 2024, if indeed, we do have an absolute wonderful green year like we did for 2023. So those are my two realistic price targets moving higher. Let's now talk about realistic price targets moving lower. And I am going to keep in these Fibonacci levels. And I think for me personally, I'm going to get rid of the larger time frame, and I'm going to use this Fibonacci level these Fibonacci levels here from the old high in August 2020 and the old lows of the September October time frame of 2022 as the Fibonacci levels for prices moving lower. We're also going to use a quick bit of trend line analysis as well. I had had this drawn in uh, a while ago and I did get rid of it, but I want you to see this trend line right here. So based on the combination of this uptrend line right here and the Fibonacci levels, my very first realistic price target for moving lower where we might bottom out at for 2024 is right here at the 0.786 Fibonacci level from this old high and this old low. That's at 1,975 US dollars. Happens to be a previous support level right there. So for example, you could see a double bottom. So I'm going to pop that in as the most realistic, I would say, if we are going to see some downward months, you would find this to be more than a 50% chance that we would find a support level right here. And the second support level kind of really depends on when we hit it. And it is this uptrend line right here. This has to be the line in the sand for me in order to be confident that gold is going to be heading onwards and upwards in years to come. We need to hold this trend line in my humble opinion. So I'm going to keep that next uh, realistic price target for 2024 moving lower if we do have a number of months moving lower or even if we close the year uh, in a low for 2024 in a red year I'm going to have it right here at 1,900 US dollars okay so those are my two price targets moving lower for the year this is the line in the sand for me so i think there is a 50 50 chance a 50 percent chance that we could come down to a low of around about 1900 us dollars or somewhere up against this uh uptrend line right here so to give you an example using the uptrend line and actually just one second i'll pop this that in right here at 1900 us dollars right there but again if we do have this as a level of support. It depends on when it hits. So for example, let's just say in the next number of months we have some red months and we come back down below this 1975 level, we could find support here or here or 
we could even consolidate for a number of months and into say June, July, and then you find that we find it uh, hitting this support level at around about there at your $1,975 level. So for me really, this is kind of like the uh, second forecast for 2023 in the upwards direction, the upper part of this resistance line right there, which did happen to hit. It was a pretty successful uh, forecast for 2023. Similarly, I'm using this one here as an uptrend line as the line in the sand, but for the Fibonacci levels, I'm going to keep it at 1,975 and 1,900 as the most realistic bottoming targets for 2024. If we do come down lower, and I, I'm giving this a less than a 50% chance, but it certainly has happened in the past. To give an example, let's see, coming off this high, I'll actually pop it onto the yearly time frame. That's looking a little bit messy here, but hopefully you can see it. We've had certainly have had uh, large downward years, and that's actually a, a, a big price range. But for example, to show you right here from this high to this low, that was a 13% move, for example. Uh, this level right here, this was a 20% move right there. So you can certainly see it. Um, you know, it could definitely break below. There is a chance it breaks below. I'm giving it a less than 50% chance that it breaks below this support line that you're seeing right here. But if we do, you could certainly come down to, and I would say the big low, and I'm doing this as a, this is the unrealistic low, okay, so I'm getting my two realistic lows for 2024, my unrealistic low, but I think it would be the low at around about here, let me pop that onto the weekly or the monthly for you so you can see it, and that's at the 0.236 Fibonacci level from this old high, this old low, and that's at 1,725 US dollars. Look, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Again, you can see these big downward years that we've had previously. I am more personally, not financial advice, I'm more bullish on gold for this year, for 2024, than I am bearish. So I think this again is, a, is an unrealistic price target I've given you my lows, my realistic lows and my realistic highs. So let me pop off, take these off, for example, and I'll also get rid of this for the moment. I'll get rid of that trend line. I'll get rid of that trend line and I'll get rid of this trend line. And if you've used the time codes to go straight to the quick bit at the end, here are my realistic price targets for 2024. It's a recap for everyone else who watched the entire video. Moving lower, my first realistic price target is 1,975 US dollars. My next realistic, so 50-50 chance, 50% chance that we see a low of around about 1,900 US dollars. And we just also talked about an unrealistic price target. Look, I will put it in. And that was at 1725. But I'm calling that unrealistic for now. But I will put that in anyway. You can again, you can pause this video and take a screenshot of this and my realistic price targets if we move higher for 2024 is the first little level here at 2250. Uh, but more than a 50%, sorry, a 50% chance we hit this range of between 2,350 to 2,470 US dollars. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Post a comment below and let's hopefully keep track of it. Uh, and we'll come back to this as we do our weekly price analyses every single week, usually on a Wednesday on the Ainsley Bullion channel. So that has been your 2024 gold price prediction, the realistic forecast. If you agree or if you disagree, post comments below. I want to know your own thoughts. Where do you think the prices may go or may top and bottom out at for 2024? And please subscribe to the channel because I will keep you updated every single week with a gold price analysis. And we will be doing a silver forecast for 2024 and I will do a platinum forecast for 2024 as well. Once they are available and done, I'll put links above and below to those. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Balance your wealth in an unbalanced world. Take care. We'll see you next time.